guys welcome to my video again today's video is just going to be a quick little get ready with me and how i do my makeup and my hair in like five to ten minutes not too much because i don't really like to wear makeup like that but i do like to wear it to be home and to feel good about myself so i'll just walk you guys along through my little quick five to ten makeup journey so depending on certain days sometimes i like to do my eyebrows first and sometimes i like to put foundation on depending on like how i feel that day but today we're gonna use foundation first just because i feel like i'm gonna finish faster with foundation the foundation i use is wet and wild and it's matte matte uh i like the foundation just because it feels like kind of like dewy on my skin and i don't like how like i don't like putting on foundation that makes my skin feel like kind of like hard or like not in a really good texture so this foundation really helps me feel like my skin like is glowing and it's like it's looking pretty good so i just put it on certain areas like my cheeks anywhere i feel like i have some little imperfections on my forehead looks pretty big like my brother say on my nose just the basic areas but i try not to put too much just because i don't want to like overdo it so after i put foundation on my face i just take a little elf brush and move the foundation around my face everywhere that i did not like put the foundation on my forehead anywhere that i need it which is my entire face something really quick and basic just so my face doesn't look like two different colors and you want to get into the neck because sometimes i forget to put it on my neck and i look like two complete different colors and it's just not the way i really like I take a sponge and I just put it on the areas where I feel like the brush didn't get too much and yeah but I think the brush did pretty well because it really blended everything really well and my face doesn't look like two complete different colors at least I think the next thing I do is my brows I have pretty light eyebrows if you haven't noticed and I've never even put them before which is pretty good I guess so I just literally put my eyebrows up and just fill them the places where I don't really have a lot of hair. And I use that by using Maybelline's brow thingamajigger, whatever you want to call this. And I just usually just, like I said, put it on the places where I don't have much hair. So it'll be like under my eyebrows, darken the areas where it needs to be darkened to make my life easier just because I don't like to do my eyebrows too dark like I used to when I was learning how to do like at least the basic steps of makeup I used to do my eyebrows really dark and they looked so really I just bad. fill out the spots on my eyebrows here where I don't feel like I have a lot of hair or like I want like some type of like definition which is on the sides of my eyebrows and I do the same thing well, after on I'm done filling in my eyebrows in the areas where I feel like I need some type of like darkness and definition. I take a Maybelline concealer and conceal my eyebrows. I don't know if I'm still kind of like old school because I still conceal my eyebrows using the same stick, but it's what works for me and I'm pretty comfortable with the way my eyebrows look afterwards. So I just continue using it. So after I'm done using the concealer and like being kind of like crazy, I take like the skinniest little sponge I have, which I was using previously, and I just literally just blend everything the way it's supposed to be. After that, I end up using my concealer again, but this one I use from e.l.f. Pretty light compared to my skin, but it still does the job. And I just put two dots under my eyebrows because the lord knows I do not sleep early and I look kind of like this so I end up doing my concealer and adding in all the oh lord I end up Get using up. the concealer in all the places where I feel like I need it which is usually just my eyebrows I take Maybelline's blush with a little brush that my grandma got me god knows how long ago but it works 
And I just apply it on my cheeks where people always think I'm blushing, but it really is just a brush doing its job. On my nose, on my cheeks, everywhere where I want to look like really like happy and not upset. So depending on the day, sometimes I like to bake and sometimes I don't, depending. So today I don't really think I'm gonna bake just because it really is just to be home and have like a little bit of like a little makeup look. And after that, I just end up using a little bit of eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, eyelash. I'm really not built for this, oh boy. Eyelash curler, eyeshadow, eye. Mascara. So I just end up using mascara afterwards. And put mascara on my eyelashes. I just put a little bit of highlighter from the own contouring kit added in the areas obviously where I want highlight, which is on my cheekbones, on my nose, a little bit on my lips. So then I just put a little bit of a Mary Kay lipstick where it is kind of has like a little like neutral color, it kind of matches with my lip color. So I like it because it's like a little natural lip color with a little bit of lip gloss to it. I don't really like using like really vibrant colors. I just like really natural things. And if depending on the day, I use a little bit of a juicy balm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it because it also goes with the lip color of my lips. And voila, start going with the braids. Now the braids have a really long time with them. They kind of look kind of crazy, but I have a really long time with the braids and they're kind of getting a little ugly. So today I'm just going to do like a little simple half up down situation. Depending. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. a little bit of the baby hair that I have on the side and lay them. I still use like the old techniques again of using an old toothbrush and I just use that. This is how the makeup look and the little hairstyle turned out. I changed up the sweater so it can match with the white hair and I think it turned out pretty nice. Thank you guys for watching, and again, if there's any recommendations, please do let me know. Until next time.